But I thought I'd show you some of my Amphilophus tanks today. They're some of my favorite fish and the ones that I probably get asked about the most, like this guy right back here, my reddest, latest male, females right down there. Let's take a look at some of the different amp tanks. I want to let you guys know too, those of you that uh, are into Southern Delight fish food and order it from me, um, I've talked about this before, but um, Southern Delight is going to a bulk bottle instead of the bulk one and two pound bags like you're used to. And um, I've gotten my first shipment in, so I um, just wanted to kind of show you guys. This is the small cichlid here and uh, kind of just show you what it looks like. Um, each of these is at least a pound. Some of the formulas, because they're more dense, um, are more than a pound. These are going to be listed on AquaticSupportSystems.com fairly soon. A few people out there have already got their hands on some of them, but um, it's just going to be a better packaging product, less damage in the mail, um, easier for me to handle so that I don't have to go through and separately bag um, all the product when it comes in. It's just going to be an all-around good thing. Price is going to go up a little bit, like I warned you guys about earlier in the year, um, or I should say late last year, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. Um, until they go up on the website, all the uh, old products that I still have in stock, which is pretty much everything except large cichlid and I think goldfish, those are on the website right now and they do not have the increased price. So if you want to go ahead and get uh, stock up on some of those bags, um, two pound and one pound before um, they all sell out, uh, go to AquaticSupportSystems.com right now and do that. But anyway, on to the amps. All right, so we're just going to start and take a look at the Redis latest tank. I got a male and a female in here. Those of you that follow my channel know that they don't spawn for me very often, but uh, this guy, for obvious reasons, his name is Head. Um, I don't have a name for her, but these are, I think, F2 or F3. Um, and I'm real happy with them. I mean, especially this male. He's just quite the specimen. I got a few Saboldi in this tank, too, uh, just to kind of see how that works. He's been a little rough on her lately, but, um, you know, um, overall, these guys get along great. And, and, you know, they will spawn for me a couple times a year, and I've always been able to get the fry and grow them out for the most part. So if anyone is interested in Redis Latest Fry, just keep your eyes on my channel, and when I do have fry available, I'll let people know, and we'll kind of go from there. All right, so we'll take a trip over to a, another Amphilophus tank. These are going to be my Amphilophus Trimaculatus pair, or Trimax. I'll go ahead and show you these right now. So one of the Amphilophus species that I've really been getting into lately are the Amphilophus trimaculatus, or trimax. As you can see, this small pair that I have here, these guys are really still juveniles, have got a massive clutch of fry that just begin free swimming. It's kind of an odd situation here, um, and I apologize for the glare in the background, but I wanted to see if we can't uh, get these guys on camera, but I've never really seen the cloud of fry hang out so close to the top of the water line like that. But um, these guys have had three or four spawns now, but they've always eaten their fry um, within the first few days. So I'm gonna yank at least half of these and put them in a grow out tank and just see if we can't save some before they start chowing down. Um, this is the male here. You can see his awesome coloration. His lips are a little beat up. She's a little beat up. They really good after each other. He gets after her more than him, but she's got the nice uh, breeding stripes going on right now as well. Her color's just beautiful, and his color's amazing as well. He's probably eight inches. She's probably four to five, just to give you an idea. They're very small at this point in their life, and they're already spawning like crazy, so that's, that's a great sign. But uh, I'll show you the... Uh, the other Trimax that I have as well, but I wanted to get these guys quickly in the video here. Okay, so we'll move over and I'll show you uh, another Trimax tank, which you've seen before and if you follow my videos. Um, but I've got a, um, down below here, I've got a uh, tank with uh, 
seven or eight random Trimax that I've just kind of had in a 180 gallon for a while now. So um, I'll show you these up close. All right, so this is the 180 gallon Trimac tank. Um, you can see a big male right there. Coloration, not as good as the male in the tank that I showed you previously. Um, various sizes in here, I haven't really sexed any of them. I know there is two females for sure in here. Uh, I'm not sure which ones they are at the present time, but um, way back, one of them paired off with this big guy before he got so big. And then I had also gotten a female from a local friend of mine um, at one point too. I think this is one of the females right here and this is another one but anyway so we'll kind of see what happens with this tank i'm not sure if i'm going to keep these guys or not um i like them but if i have a pair in that other pair um i'll probably get rid of these at some point and i know i've been saying that in several videos lately but at some point i'll probably put the pair in here and get rid of the these ones all right, I'm gonna take you uh, over here to this one of my Midas tanks. You can see this guy, he doesn't have a name, but he's a brother of the last one I'll show you, Cheeto. I've got a pair here, they have not spawned for me. Let's take a closer look. All right, so this is the male. These are Amphilophus citronellus, or Midas cichlids, if you're new to the Amphilophus species. This is the female. This is the male. You can see he's super feisty. So the story here is um, I had a different female, as you guys may remember, a nice white creamsicle one. They used to spawn for me regularly, and I still have some fry, which I'll show you, that I'm growing out for myself. But... Um, he ended up killing her, so this is an extra that I had, and so I put her in here, and they have not spawned yet. She was also with Cheeto for a long time, and they never showed any signs of spawning there, so she may not be interested, or she may not be fertile, I don't know, but uh, that's the situation. But this guy is quite the looker. Him and his brother Cheeto are just both phenomenal looking for different reasons. Um, I like Cheeto better myself, but this guy is quite the stunner as well. Pretty much everything you'd want in a Midas, unless you're looking for solid orange color. But he's got uh, awesome creamsicle or pie bolt coloring with uh, bright orange and bright white. Finage look great. And uh, yeah, um, I believe he's an F3. I'm not sure on her. I'd have to check my records, but... Uh, this one came from the line that Scott Hoover uh, used to have. Uh, those of you that are hardcore into amps know what his line used to look like, just, just beautiful. So I'll show you his brother Cheeto, um, and I'll quickly show you some fry as well. All right, so I'm gonna take you back over to the other side of the room here, and we'll look at some fry that came from that male and the old female that he actually killed. All right, these are some fry that I'm growing out. I don't know if you'd call them fry anymore. They're in the one to two inch range, depending. And there's, I don't know, 15 of them in there or something like that. I was gonna sell these, but I've decided that I'm gonna grow them out for myself just because uh, I wanna have some fish from that line. You know, the males are males and females are getting old, and so you never know when one might you might lose one. So I wanna keep this line going. Then also, I'm gonna show you real quick. This one right here, this is in my 210 gallon tank with the arowana and motas and everything. This guy or girl came also from the Midas uh, pair that I just showed you. It was a barred Midas or it was showing bars up until I moved it to this tank, you may remember. Um, it was living with his parents alone, kind of a lone survivor. Put him in this big tank and within about a week or so he started peeling and now he's got kind of the light orange and black coloration on him or her so i'm excited to kind of see what ends up happening here but i thought i would just show you this one as well all right so let's head upstairs to check out cheeto kind of the fan favorite look at all this fish food and southern delight back there some other brands too um, check out the website and see what we've got available 
All right, into the office, and uh, we'll go ahead and check out Cheeto's tank, but you can see it's right behind me. There's Cheeto, and there's this female. Let's get a closer look. All right, folks, here's Cheeto. This is, a, again, an Amphilophus citronellus, or Midas cichlid. Sorry for the reflection there, but this is uh, what I guess I would consider a very prime specimen. This guy is really nice. He does have a little fin nippage right now because him and his lady do get into it from time to time when they're arguing about whether or not they're going to spawn. But I've had a couple spawns from them that were not successful. Um, you saw some prior videos, if you follow my channel, where there was huge, massive clouds of fry. But they ended up eating them. They show signs of spawning behavior daily. You can see her tube's partially down right now. They hang in this pot all the time, and so I'm just waiting for the next time that they do spawn, and uh, hopefully um, we'll be able to save some fry and go from there. So anyway, I, I'll try to keep this as short as I can, but I uh, thought I would just show, show you these guys and show you all my different Amphilophus. All right, so that's all I've got for this video. I just wanted to do kind of a quick random tour. Um, I'm trying to do some stuff like that where it's not really too edited and uh, not a full tour but just uh, show you some random tanks so this week I decided just to show you the Amphilophus tanks and kind of go from there um, I appreciate everybody that does watch my videos uh, if you're new to this channel make sure that you do subscribe um, check out aquatic support systems.com if you're looking for uh, fish food shrimp food and different aquarium related products as well we uh, we try to do our best to keep uh, a lot of good products out there for people so uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.